on youtube it's your boy ogt and man e aka the main event and today we got sky jackson arrested after fighting her boyfriend now all i did i seen this on tiktok like i think a few days ago i said damn what sky jackson done did i'm trying to see what's t i'm trying to see what what was really you know well um, anyways Let's go ahead and get to the video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like, come subscribe on the road to 10K at 5K. I will be doing giveaways 2400 on the way. Let's get started. You did. Hold up. Make sure to go subscribe to the boy Maury. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Gentlemen, so it's official. The former star of Jesse from Disney Channel has recently been arrested for a domestic battery, apparently. Like, apparently, she was at Disneyland at a specific part of the park. I'm not sure if it was Disneyland or Disney World. But as according to reports, she was walking to a destination, I believe, to a ride or an attraction with a boyfriend. Her and a boyfriend got into a spat. You already know short girls, 5'4 and below, 5'3, 5'2, 5'1. They're just like spicy as hell, like little chihuahuas. Some of them, not all, will get upset over anything and everything. Like, God damn, what are you, like a human version of a chihuahua? Holy shit. But yeah, they were arguing. And apparently, she quote unquote started assault. Him. And I'm only using quotations because, let's be honest, fellas, I understand assault is assault, but this woman is the size of a goddamn can of beans. What is she, like, 22 and still looks like she's 14 at her first year in high school? She prob hey, man. I'm not gonna lie. And this is just my, this is just my take on it. I grew up where if you put your hands on somebody, they got the all right to hit your ass back. I'm not gonna lie. I see what he was trying to do, be respectful, you know. And I'm glad, you know, that nowadays that they starting to crack down on females being no niggas. But let her would have touched me. Oh, I would have let her got her a few hits in, you know. Made her, make make me bleed first. And then I would have suplexed the shit out of her. I'm being so dead ass. I'm sorry. Like he said, she, she still look 14. I will body slam the shit out of you. And then I'll be like, it was self-defense. It was, it was, what what they call it? It was a reaction. It was, it was, and I, that's all I've been. It's no more than a hundred pounds. Literally get into a fight with her and you'll be out here ragdolling her like the Hulk did to Loki when he pissed him off in the Avengers. Like, ladies and gentlemen, this is why I say quote unquote assault. I mean, when they say she pushed him, I'm assuming dude barely moved and started laughing, if not crying at the fact that she thought she could do something. But again, she was still arrested because apparently there was two security guards nearby. As according to TMZ, and I quote, law enforcement sources say the actress best known for starring in Disney shows, Jesse and Bunk, was arrested last week for domestic violence. And they were told that deputies were called to Universal City Walk. After security spotted Jackson and her boyfriend getting into it, the actress allegedly... Do not pay somebody to build you a Shopify store because ass, I'm so. going to do it free with 20 handpicked products. Okay, I pushed him more than once. Now, here's the thing. I'm not opposed to that. Assault is assault. No matter the size, length, girth, width, we're all human beings. And if you assault another human being, it is what it is. You got to be held accountable regardless of if that assault was barely as effective as a brush of cool breeze on your face. It is what it is. If a baby hits you, hey, man, that Google Gaga vomit machine might just have to squabble up. If an old lady decides squabble to spit up. on you, hey, man, she just might have to get pimped slap and tossed into the street if a pregnant lady yeah. for whatever reason god forbid decides to punch you in your face hey man you might just have to say rock a baby oh. <laughs> you're fucked up <laughs> i thought what i just said was fucked up no you're fucked up <laughs> niggas said rock a bye baby the tree top when the wind blows the <laughs> Cradle will rock. Hey, man, it is what it is, man. But they go on to say that sources tell us security clocked the altercation and then detained the couple because apparently the victim in the situation has to get arrested too until law enforcement arrives. They also say our sources say Jackson and her boyfriend both denied anything of physical. So obviously he's going to be sick enough for his girlfriend, especially since she, based on what I hear, is pregnant. Believe it or not, although she looks pretty young, she is 22. She's a grown ass woman. And I'm not going to lie. Her body is on point. My God. I mean, she's short. And sometimes her physical age does look kind of sus but god god all right let me stop man they also say she said that they were happily engaged and expecting a baby together by the way shout out to her they're about to get married they're about to have a child young couple you know hopefully they stay married and create a big ass family together for the rest of their life you know we i want to wish them happy good luck although in america we already know how marriages usually go i'm gonna show you guys her boyfriend in texas and i should have got a hair tie because i feel my head sweating what the fuck is that Ooh, if you don't, 
I would have gripped her by that little ass head. But, but she is pregnant. So that's why, you know, that's why I ain't even too mad. I would have hit her ass with the Heisman. I would have been like, babe, chill out. You, you're doing a little too much. You're doing a little too much. Oh, didn't I say you do? <laughs> No, don't take anything I'm saying serious. <laughs> don't take nothing I'm saying. Serious. But that part with the Heisman, when I would have hit her with the, not like hard push, but like, all right, back up. You're doing a little too much. Are you putting up that? What did you listen to? Yeah, okay, yeah. Exotic boy Bud. Y'all know what the fuck Stop going on. Stop with him. Yeah. So yeah, I can't say that I'm surprised or anything like that. Like Buddy out here look like he's gang affiliated when we already know that's probably not the case. Like it's all in that. But in any case, I'm not surprised that sweet old Disney Channel Jesse is out here about to have a baby with this kind of guy. Like she really wants to follow in the footsteps of that baby and get Molly whopped upside her head and coming to the internet crying, being a victim and saying I can change it. after giving birth to a child. Like hey man, she's a grown ass woman. She can do whatever she wants, man. But if it's already getting physical like this while she's pregnant with this man's baby, and I'm assuming her little spicy ass probably started something he probably said something slick back and then she felt like she had the right because she's pregnant to hit him back listen ladies assault is assault even if you're pregnant it is what it is i, I understand the hormones it makes you uncomfortable gets you easy annoyed you're carrying life inside your womb your stomach sometimes you you gotta like take a chill bill step back and reflect upon your actions before you become a god criminal and get a record for the first time in your life while you still have your baby in your stomach like what this is crazy here we have another image of her boyfriend I don't know what buddy is. He doesn't look white, per se. He also doesn't look black. Boy kind of looks albino. Irish mix, maybe? I mean, red hair, very fair skin, tight-ass jeans, fake Cartiers. Boy just might be a scammer. Because why does he have a shiesty on inside, indoors? Like, we already know who you are. What are you trying to hide your identity for, brother? And the crazy thing is, Sky makes this man literally look like a giant. Man, this is probably 5'9", five, 5'10", five, max. But because Sky's so short herself, what is she, like, 4'9", five, 5 feet? Man's is out here looking like he's playing center for an NBA team when standing next to her. Like, I I, I just know the it's gotta go crazy again let me stop this is a family friendly show pg uh uh don't say that bullshit now mm -mm -mm. don't say that bullshit now you just over there talking about rock a bye baby <laughs> nah motherfucker it's okay more i see you over here trying to spread the word or whatever you're not slick though you're not getting away with these mm-mm Mm -mm, you got a tone for it. Team, I apologize. But now, you know, this story's becoming bigger than it needs to be because apparently a lot of people are trying to give her a pass because of her size. And like I said, assault is assault. It is what it is. But you have certain comments saying, oh, I ain't no she gets ghetto. As if getting into a fight or assaulting people means ghetto. Like, it, the ignorance. Another comment said, men will be the reason for your downfall. Avoid men at all costs. As if he wasn't the... Man, you probably ain't even got no nigga over there saying that bullshit. I hate, I hate when people just dig they fat ass nose into business that ain't even theirs. Like, come on now. I can understand if she was abusing this nigga, like, you know, over and over. Then it would be like, and why the fuck would you even say that? Don't even know nothing. Talking about men will be your dad. No, bitch. You look like a downfall. How about that? In the situation, yeah, she yeah. literally assaulted him. How the fuck did this become into a gender war equation trying to blame men? Like, bro, exactly. did her boyfriend make her hit him? Like, did he literally, like a phantom ghost, control her body and made her push him? You got another comment saying, see, you be having to put the pause on these ninjas. But let the roles have been reversed and see how the energy would be completely different. Somebody oh said, God. it's always a man to bring you out your character. Okay. Queen Kira said, oh, gee, she needs to stay away from him. Men can be a person's downfall. Like, so we're just not blaming the entire gender, bro. For a fairly common dynamic dynamic between couples who get into arguments like exactly. sometimes hands will be put on each other i'm not condoning it but it is what it is it's a part of life we have another post from somebody saying anytime a woman is in the news for domestic violence she is given a pass the victim is mocked sky jackson was arrested for domestic battery but many women blame the man and this is why her fiance tried to cover for her initially but the cops saw the video start holding women who abuse men accountable no passes on this page and that's from a person by the name of the queen of accountability who i also suppose runs the uh twitter page 
abuse Daphne. Now here's the thing. In society, a lot of domestic abuse received by men from their partners, their spouses, their girlfriends, wives, and all that do get covered up. Not gonna lie, a lot of men feel embarrassed to even speak up about it because how dare you get abused by a woman? You're supposed to be the man. You're supposed to be the abuser. Ironically, like that's the toxic ass mindset. You can't be the abusee. How is that possible? When in reality, I mean, ladies, gentlemen, not every man is gonna be aggressive. Not every man is gonna be that big, bold, bad, him slap his girl just because she talked to him a certain way. Like, bro, a lot of guys will accept abuse, physical abuse, and not even defend themselves because they're passive and they're good, kind hearted, non combative people. They don't want. See, me personally, I'm a kind hearted person. You know, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna put my hand on my lady unless we play fighting or, you know, we. But other than that, I'm not too much. Now, if you start hitting me like you're fucking stupid, best believe you're gonna get your ass pimp slapped or head butted. Cause, cause calm your head down. The fuck wrong with you? Like, like damn, I'm, I'm not with that. I can't think of a time where I actually had to put my hand on a female that wasn't my my siblings, like my older sisters. I I had to put my hands on them. Now, was I the cause of the problem? 60% of the time, yeah, maybe 70. But the times that it won my prop, I had to stand up for myself. You got me fucked up. Their girl, much less anyone, because that's just not within them. Also, they probably don't even want to get caught up, because as soon as you put your hands on a pregnant woman, you're dying. obviously women oh, are yeah. given the benefit of the doubt in these situations, oh, because God. women are the more vulnerable, softer sex. Although I understand people are going to get offended by that basic biology, for some reason, pisses people off. That's the society we now live in, but uh, yeah, there is a bias in society. It is what it is. And it's just crazy how people are trying to give her a pass for assaulting her future husband. Be that as it may, she's small, she's light, and she's pregnant. It still doesn't justify the actions, especially Especially if she's trying to be violent now imagine when she has the baby imagine when she becomes a wife and both of them can't stand each other arguments are always had things get violent and then next time it's not a push it's not a shove she's not using her hands but a knife a gun a hammer like when these things happen you gotta nip them in the bud and personally me if i'm him i'm just gonna have to start looking at her differently like i'm gonna have to like move differently because now like that's weird why are you doing this we're about to be a family what are you doing you know just because a girl looks cute she's adorable she's fun size she looks younger than her actual age does not mean she should get a pass for assault domestic battery domestic abuse just because she's kawaii hell no anyway though let me know your thoughts and opinions down below like he said he really covered the shit that i was gonna say like you know even if she is small it's shit like that that's like it could easily get out of hand if it wasn't dealt with before so i see what he mean by that i put my point into there so you know i ain't really got much to say but anyways it's your boy let me go ahead and read these comments Hulk and Loki, bro, you over here, you overdoing it, even playing Playboy in the background. Never in a million years I expect Jack Sky Jackson to get arrested. Oh God, I never saw Sky in the same light ever. She docks that kid. This this just solidifies it for me. You don't put your hands on people regardless of the gender or size. A little angry Chihuahua that's <laughs> twenty two but looks like a child. That is 99.9% .9 accurate. Shit, fuck it, 100. <clears throat> nah, the same little innocent and girl from Jesse going to jail is something I did not expect. No, for real. Just remember, the shorter the person, the closer they are to hell. <laughs> I just, I say this as someone who is five. To, that is crazy. That is funny, too. But anyways, hope you liked the video. It's your boy OGT Main signing out. Eee. That then, hold up.